Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial and today I want to talk about space earnings. They just happened and after we review this I do want to kind of talk a little bit more about the space sector in general. But Virgin Galactic or Space is a company that the intention is to have their customers be flown into space and potentially in the future flown to space stations or other locations in space. The key thing here is space tourism is the name of the game. The idea behind this is that they are looking to have built a series of planes or rather shuttles that are going to be able to take them up into space. The big thing that we've been waiting for is to have kind of manned launches of those shuttles to be able to get to the point where they are actually capable of flying their passengers because there is a lot of red tape that is going on to be able to get them there. What we're looking at here though and what I have mentioned in my prior videos concerning space is the fact that this company continues to not make any money and burn cash at an alarming rate. The items that I want to highlight here is that they reported a net loss of $130 million. The reason why this is important is because the last year they lost $377 million. The reason for that is because they were doing a lot more development last year than this year and they just haven't been able to have the same amount of production over the past 12 months related to the coronavirus pandemic. The reason that these two numbers are very, very important is because right now at the end of the quarter, they have $617 million in cash and equivalents on hand. And we'll talk about that here shortly as I think that that's a huge impactful statement because they are continuing to burn cash at an alarming rate. Keep in mind, last time we covered the stock is when we noticed that they were selling a lot of their shares. So Chamath is one of their big backers for this back, and he sold a lot of his shares back earlier in January of this year. You can see when that happened during that time period. The other thing that I would highlight for these two items right here is that we also had Richard Branson, the owner of Virgin Galactic, sold a lot of his shares as well. We saw a number of the executives at this organization selling shares as the stock went to all-time highs. Remember that this happened earlier this year. At that point in time, I highlighted if you are planning to long-term hold, it would be a good time to sell those covered calls. If you'd like to learn more about covered calls, you can check out some of my other videos here, and I'll throw that tag up there or check out the description below. And if you find this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Back to the space tirade when earnings shot up here. A lot of these people sold around here, around the upper 20 range, and low 30 range and then they skyrocketed higher and we didn't actually see as much selling up here despite I think that was just mostly because they couldn't get the proper documentation out at that point in time but the stock continues to go lower and there is a lot of positive publicity especially leading up to this moment despite the fact that fundamentally the company continues to not be in a great position the reason for that is you can see they continue to have zero revenue. Now this is not inclusive of the Q1 numbers this calendar year. However, they do continue to lose money at an alarming rate. We can look at the net income right here. We're on a quarterly basis. They're losing 60 million. They're losing 63 million. They're losing 77 million, 74 million. All of this ends up hitting the balance sheet in a very hard way. If we look at their balance sheet right now, you can see that we've got the total cash on hand or rather really the total current assets on hand down below is shrinking at a alarming rate the reason that this went up during this time period from q2 to q3 of last year is they did yet another share offering they continue to dilute they continue to add additional shares despite the fact that they aren't bringing in any additional revenue the reason why this worries me is because, again, we just saw that they don't have a lot of cash on hand, despite the fact that they're burning $130 million per quarter. At this rate, that this means that they only have about another five to six quarters if they continue to burn at that rate to be able to hold on to the cash that they currently possess. If that is the case, you can expect that they will do another share offering which will further dilute their holdings or they have to take on debt in some form or fashion. All this being said, I think that the company is in a very poor place from a financial analysis standpoint. They could end up being going bankrupt if they don't have someone come in and uh, back them, provide additional funding. However, we do see some additional support 
in the way of Blue Origin, who is backed by Jeff Bezos. So there's a lot in the space sector right now. I don't think that space or SPCE or Virgin Galactic is who I want to play. And you can see that a lot of the holders behind that stock have been selling their shares at an alarming pace. At that point in time is when it was pretty apparent that they were going to continue to sell off. What I'm watching for here is will they ever be able to generate any real revenue? And I don't see that opportunity on the high horizon at this point in time. What I like a lot more, just for the benefit of everyone who watches this channel, we have covered Osprey Acquisition. This is a satellite technology company that uses geo imaging from space. They are making revenue. This is a SPAC at this point in time. I still think that they're a little overvalued, but if I'm looking for a long-term hold, I think that this is the company that I wanna be involved in. Another SPAC that is in a good space that wants to or will be potentially a great long-term hold is obviously Helicity, H-O-L. They are the ones who take the rockets and take the satellites into space. So again, another company that I am interested in holding long-term, and the other one would be Rocket Labs. So lastly, we've got three companies that are all producing revenue, all have the potential to be profitable, though not expected in the near-term future. And all that being said, I like all of those significantly more than Virgin Galactic because year after year they've continued to show that they don't have a clear path to profitability and they have a lot of red tape that they're going to have to get to to be able to get there. All that being said, feel free to provide your opinion as this was mine and let me know in the comments down below or join the Discord and let me know your thoughts. But for now, when you post earnings that are pretty bad when we're talking from a, a huge loss perspective, even if you have $617 million in cash, even if you have the capability to someday be profitable, I prefer to see some of that profitability here today, or at least a clear path to get there. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the stock. And if you have any, or if you find this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you later.